Hello everyone! In this video, we will teach you how to reset the Epson L4150 and Epson L4160 printers. We've also given you the reset program for free with no password. Just click the link in the description. Please support the Device Doctor channel by liking our videos and subscribing. Don't forget to share your comment with us. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions, or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. Step 1. After downloading the file, extract it using WinRAR. Step 2. Now, open the extracted folder and follow our instructions. Open the adjustment program. Step 3. After the small window appears, you will see a hardware ID specific to your computer. This hardware ID is very important, so make sure to note it down and take a screenshot for future use. Step 4. After noting the hardware ID, you need to create a license for your computer using the Reset Program Activator. Please note that without activating the license for your computer, the Reset Program won't work. Follow our instructions. It's not difficult. Open the Keegan folder. In the Keegan folder, you will see five files. Now, open the last file. Now, simply click on Part 1, which is the License Manager. Now, simply click on the Add License option. We've reached the most important step. Be very careful not to enter incorrect details. The first and second options are optional, and you can enter any name. However, be careful with the Hardware ID option. In the Hardware ID section, you need to enter the ID specific to your computer that was explained in Step 3. Please note that the ID shown in the video is specific to my computer and you will see a different ID specific to your computer. Now, after filling in the options, simply click on the Save button. Now, you need to click on Create License Key to complete the creation of your license. And now you'll see that a folder named as mentioned in the instructions has been added. Please open the folder and copy all of its files. Now paste the copied files into the section where your reset program is located. Alright, in this step, Open the license file once, select Yes, and then OK. Step 5. Now we've reached the programming and resetting stage of your Epson printer. After running the program, you will see a message stating that you have successfully registered. Click OK to open the program. Now, click on the Select button, then choose your printer model and printer port. After that, click OK again. Select Particular Adjustment Mode and click on it. Now, select and click on Waste Ink Pad Counter. Now, tick mark both options and click on the Check button to see if the printer's memory is really full. Now you can see that the memory is completely full and needs to be emptied. Now, mark both options again, and this time click on the Initialize option. Press OK, and now you will see that the printer has been reset. A message will appear instructing you to turn off, and then back on the printer once. Step 6. Finally, turn off the printer, and then turn it back on. After it powers up, you will see that the printer has been fixed and no longer shows a red error light. For peace of mind, perform a nozzle check as a test print.
The operation has been successfully completed. Please follow the instructions in this video guide and download the resetter file from the link provided in the description. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the Device Doctor channel.